Well, Carrie started as a girl next door. Even though Princess Leia in Star Wars was a feisty character, the business wanted to treat her as just another ingenue, but she was so removed from that. She was a complicated person. No, she wasn't always easy, but that's because she was very willful, very brilliant, and was not just, you know, a cookie cutter starlet coming down the runway. She was somebody very special and unique. And Debbie was the same person. They were cut from the same cloth. They both started out as ingenues and both became very complicated, interesting people with a lot of wit and wisdom about the business and about each other. Now, their last resting place is the Forest Park Memorial, which is a very famous memorial uh, in L.A. Will, will, will fans be able to get there at some point and pay their respects? Yes, but I'm hoping there'll be a more public memorial for both Debbie and Carrie, hopefully in New York, where they have so many fans. And I think the demand for it will make that happen. Mm. And what about Star Wars as well, uh, Michael? Because we were talking yesterday, we know that Carrie Fisher had filmed some scenes or had filmed her scenes uh, for the next Star Wars film. Do, is there any indication of what they're going to do uh, with regards to her death or how they're going to sort of commemorate her role in the franchise? Well, the current Star Wars movie, which is a big hit, ends with a shot of young Carrie Fisher mm -hmm. in the first Star Wars. So if that gives you an idea of the chronology there. And I'm sure there'll be tremendous respect paid to Carrie in the next Star Wars. And on the Academy Awards and Golden Globe Awards, which are coming up, I'm sure there'll be tributes to Carrie because not only was she Princess Leia, but she was a queen of show business for many years as a commentator and an actress.